And welcome on a big night here at Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Everton up against Crystal Palace. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. And here's how Everton line up. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. Jordan Pickford, number six, James Tarkowski. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, they're playing the same shape, really. So it's all about getting control of that central area. And which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game? And the match is underway. Tarkovsky. Garner. And the referee sensibly allowing them to carry on. Advantage with them. That's a good ball. That's useful play. unable to get his cross beyond the first defender Richards Jefferson Lerma are you Eberechi Esi on the ball Foiling his opponent completely. Amadou Onana. McNeil. The delivery towards the back post. Oh, a superb save. Mark Guehi. Important interception. Ducure might be able to set up the chance. The fist of the goalkeeper. Crossing into the middle. Well, not cleared away completely. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Plenty of support here. Can they forge ahead? Oh, not to be! Stopping a certain goal. Ducure. Ducure. Harrison. Well, the keeper very decisive. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Well, he let them go on, but now he's going to deal with the yellow card situation. Yeah, and he was always going to be booked for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. Who can he pick out? 
No one able to do any damage with it. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Ezzy. And support available. Mitchell. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well, no damage done. Half time. That will close the book on the first half here at Goodison. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Ducure. Onana. McNeil. Wasteful here from Everton. So half an hour remaining. Jean Philippe Mateta. And credit due, a good intervention. This might be ideal for the counter. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Jean-Philippe Mateta. How can he take them on and beat them? It comes to nothing in the end. Harrison. Nathan Patterson. James Garner. Tarkovsky. Just 15 minutes remaining. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. And they're making a change. Tyrick Mitchell. Now with Lerma. Jean-Philippe Mateta. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Well, these Everton fans can sense a winner coming here, but can they create one more big chance before the end? And he's broken free. Well, let's
let's look at this again. And what a one-two it is to unlock the defence. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Jefferson Lerma. Ezzy. Well, totaling up all the stoppages. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, I think that picture tells you everything. He's not in agreement with the referee on that one. Promising pass. Oh, good save. Excellent header. So the referee blows for full time, and it's an Everton success story, whatever way you look at it. Three points for the Toffees. What did you think of their performance? Yes, Derek, well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result.